Hello everybody, welcome to a very interesting airport build for this channel. This airport uh, was for my uh, part of my final uh, in my aviation class uh, in school, so um, we didn't have to make like a whole huge model airport of it, but I'm me, so I decided to make a huge model airport of it. Um, so this is the first video on the channel that I'm actually like getting graded on, so that's pretty interesting. Um, here's the airport. It is located on the former site of Miggs Field in Chicago, uh, and the airport name is Chicago City Airport, inspired by London City and Toronto, Toronto City Billy Bishop, because it works uh, as a similar function to those airports. Um, so you can kind of see the outline of the airport here um, with the pencil lines. Um, I didn't really have a whole lot of time to, you know, go really into detail on this because I made this, I had like a day to make this, so it's not my best airport ever, um, and I mean, certainly, it's, it's definitely, the, I'm not the most proud of it, but it'll get the job done for what I needed to, to do, uh, so we'll just do a little tour here, uh, here is, we'll start with the runway, so this is runway 35, um, now in the original mix field, it was runway 36, but since um, this runway is shifted a little bit uh, over to the left, then um, I decided to uh, re renumber it to three five. Um, it is going a little bit, a little bit more west. Um, then that that was done to just maximize the the space for the runway because I wanted the A two twenty to fly here for JetBlue. Uh, so this also was on reclaimed land. So actually, the island stops like here. But the runway continues down um, on reclaimed land, uh, just like they do in Japan, because I wanted uh, an, A220, an A220 to land here. I just didn't want just E175s, uh, but there's still plenty of E175s, just like London City. Um, as I said, this airport is heavily inspired, heavily inspired from that airport. So now we'll get started here. This is the terminal. Kind of a... It looks really messy and convoluted, but I try to make it kind of simple so this is like the drive in here uh there's a road it goes underneath that is the arrivals level so this is i don't know if there's any other airports that go to arrivals before departures um normally it's the other way around but you know extreme circumstances extreme cir circumstances call for extreme solutions and this is definitely that because this is at the very end of a very narrow island um so you see the bus under there um under that you know on that side. Also, I should mention what that structure is. That is a parking garage. Um, I know it doesn't look like one because it's a solid block, but it's supposed to represent a parking garage um, that you could, the arrival sign, you, you would drive under it. Uh, if you were going into the parking uh, garage, there's like a, you can take like a ramp inside. And there are two levels of covered parking, and then the top level, that would be all parking as well. Um, and you also pretend that that's a tunnel also for the departures level where that car is um, because, you know, you'd also have to, that would be, be a drop off and pick up for, for, pick up for departures. There'd also be ride share and rental car inside the bottom part of the parking garage um, and also, you know, buses as well. Rental cars, of course, you'd have to take a shuttle to a different facility because we do not have enough space to put, you know, a big rental car lot anywhere on this island. Um, so I guess we'll now move into the terminal itself. One of the requirements is that there had to be a restaurant somewhere, and I'm just including that in, in the terminal because, uh, once again, space, and also just, I figured there'd be restaurants inside the terminal, so that's kind of a cop-out, but it'll have to do. Here's gate one. Um, this gate mainly serves American Airlines, and we see that here with their CRJ 700 operated by PSA. This one is on the turn from uh, Washington Reagan National. Uh, American Airlines with PSA only serves uh, Reagan National here. Ideally, it would be in the CRJ 900, but we only have the CRJ 700 here, so uh, that's what that is. Our next aircraft here is the American Eagle E-170. Uh, this is operated by Envoy Air, and this one arrived in from uh, New York, Newark, or sorry, not Newark. This is uh, LaGuardia, and it will be heading back out there. So uh, love the retro livery. So American serves. Uh, uh, LaGuardia on operated by Envoy on the E-175s. And they have one more route, which we'll get to uh, later on in the update. Next aircraft here is the United Express uh, E-170. This is operated by Republic, and this one is in from 
um, Newark, and then this one will be heading back out there. Finally, we have a Delta Connection E-175 as well. This one also is going to be heading out to LaGuardia. Uh, New York, uh, yeah, New York to Chicago here, since they're both, like, big business cities, and this since this airport is mainly for business travel, there would be a lot of flights between those two cities. So that is that was reflected here, and that was the intent. We also have Gate 5, which is the largest gate here that accommodates the A220. Um, that is obviously used by JetBlue. So I guess we'll hit the other two aircraft right here. We have this American Eagle uh, E-175 offered by Envoy as well, and this one is heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth on the turnaround. The only non-turn today is this JetBlue A220-300, which is now heading out to Boston after arriving in from JFK, and this one's taking off on 3.5. So very nice right there. Those are all the airlines that fly here. Maybe in the future we'll get, like, Porter... Um, there's not enough room for a customs facility here, so until Billy Bishop, Billy Bishop will get a customs pre-clearance in 2025, so maybe that, maybe by then Porter will serve here, although I'm not gonna, don't expect any airport updates <laughs> of this airport in 2025. Our next place here, this is just a GA ramp, we have a whole bunch of parking spaces here. One of the requirements for the airport that it had to have at least 30, uh, spaces for, for parking aircraft. And I don't really have a whole lot of GA aircraft, so we just have this Cessna Caravan right here, which really isn't, I mean, it, 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 it can't be used as GA. Um, so that's our only aircraft right here. Um, but this would be, like, probably mostly, like, Cessnas, maybe maybe more fancy aircraft. But, you know, I don't have a whole lot of GA, and we can clearly see that. Uh, but yeah, we have an FBO over here, one of two FBOs, and then we also have this EMS uh, building right there with the fire truck. Um, and also the island does continue on a little bit. Uh, the runway does keep going. Um, at the other end, you'd have to backtrack. The taxiway would uh, pull onto the runway, and then you'd have to taxi down to backtrack if they were using 1-7, but they're not today, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> over on this side, we have some more just GA parking, parking for corporate jets, and so we see the two Challenger 300s right here. We also have this Delta maintenance hangar. I doubt that Delta would actually have a maintenance hangar here, but their name was on the thing, so I put the Delta UN75 in there. Um, kind of just as a placeholder, but I doubt that Delta would actually have a maintenance hangar here, but we also have a maintenance facility, another FBO over here, and then also a helipad. That's another one of the requirements here. But that's pretty much the entire airport. Pretty simple. As I said, I didn't have a whole lot of time to make this. Um, and I guess my advice for Chicago, uh, please don't build this. <laughs> it, I, I, don't, I don't think this is a great idea to build this airport, but it was fun to try to make something out, out of this idea. So uh, here, here's the airport, Chicago City Center. The uh, airport code, uh, the IATA code would be Charlie, 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 the IKO. Kilo, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Uh, kind of inspired by Hilton, he Hilton Head Island, because there's is HHH. Um, but uh, CCC standing for Chicago City Center. But yeah, that'll do it for this airport update and airport tour. So don't expect to see this airport in any more videos. Uh, it's kind of just a one-off thing, but I think it turned out all right. I'll see you, see you in the next video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Auf Wiedersehen.